All right, there it is, Coin Karma Crew. What is going on? I missed your pretty faces, even though I've never seen them. I missed them. I hope everybody's doing well. Had a great, safe Memorial Day weekend. Whether you sat on the couch and watched whatever, or you were out boating or tubing or playing in the rain, whatever it is. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's time to have some fun here on Half Dollar Make Your Holiday. We went to the coin shop today. Great people over at home that coin. Big shout out to them. Got some cool stuff. Speaking of cool stuff, I'm going to pin Bubba Bogey's message to the top of the chat. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section, and that will get you into the free giveaway that we are going to do. What up, Tupac? How you doing, TWM? Grandpa oh, Bogey. Voice Ozzy Galo. Throwing up the sevens. Hey, Royce Blackburn. How you see it? Uh, good to see you, buddy. Uh, let's see who else we got in Colorado Coins and Nagy as well. Randall's in here. Colorado throwing up some coins. So you'd love to see it, guys. Matthew P, the local, right back, right around the corners in the chat. Matthew, how's it going, buddy? Staying safe out there and warm and dry. It is a rainy one here in Colorado. Holy cow. Dude, it's been crazy. Hey, this week, Michael Ellis. What is up? What's up? good, dude? Good to see you, man. I'm so happy to be with you guys today. I missed you. I've been hanging out with Sneaky McGee the whole time. I need a relief. Let's get it going. Uh, so tonight, guys, we do have two boxes tonight. I don't know what our schedule is going to be looking like. Um, we uh, won't have more halves until Thursday, more than likely. So tomorrow's stream is questionable. You guys want to get in to, to for tonight, do it to it. Your internet's glitching. Well, get some good, get a router, Michael. No, I'm just kidding. My internet here glitches all the time. Fingers crossed. I'm knocking on some wood that uh, it uh, holds strong for us. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow, I don't know, I might get away and go see a Rockies game or something. If we don't have boxes to stream, I want to show him Coors, yeah, you've been to Coors, you've been to Coors Field, a couple of, uh, but I don't know, if we get boxes, we're hanging out, and if not, we'll be back on Thursday, whether we're doing nickels, but I think we'll have halves by Thursday, so that's the plan. I can always try and get some quarters and nickels, uh, I don't know, that might be fun. Sometimes. It's a coin shortage, though. We could do something a little different. Dark Green, how's it going, dude? I was Dark talking to Dark Green, where's my AMC 8s? I'm sitting right here, brother, and I'm holding, my friend. <laughs> I am holding strong. Ain't no hurt. Ain't. Old uh, Amy is it? Is it Amy, Amy. from Congo? Congo. <laughs> Amy sells stock. Amy sells Amy stock. Sells stock. But yeah, guys, we'll get it going and have some fun. Hopefully, we get into some good silver. Gosh darn it! I am trying to find some silver. Uh, but until then, I got a, I got a twenty-five dollar PayPal. Oh right, we're going Who's kicking right? us off? Let's see. Someone's kicking us off. Uh, Offender Road with the 25. Offender Road. Thank you, Offender. Where's my pen? Don't be offended. Oh. I need my pen. There it is. Beat, there you, you, beat you to it. Uh, you got one. Music is loud, says so Tupac. Got you. Give me one second. There you go. Bombs. Vibe them a little bit. But yeah, so we got a friend of the road with the 20 vibes going to get us kicked off. Guys, look at these 40 percenters we picked up today. They are uh, very 40 percent -y. Yeah, they are. There were some blinging ones in there. What up, Maggie? Happy belated Memorial Day. Uh, but we'll go ahead and throw a couple of these guys um, on, on some smileys or something. Get you guys you um, something cool. And we'll keep it going. Too loud, you too. If you're too loud, you too old. Says uh, <laughs> what? Huh? Right? J Money, hey, oh, J Money. I hope J Michael Ellis got his internet issues fixed. I hope you guys are doing well. Two boxes today. We got one here, one balancing on the old uh, pool table over there, and uh, we'll get it going. Jerk Slaw, what's up? J Money, what's good? Jerk Slaw, what's up? Crispy, he says. Crispy, crispy. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you do a hundred dollar donation, you do. Get a guest to the mystery box. We've had a lot of guesses already. Uh, we are down. We're getting down there, man. We've got a lot of numbers off the board, so uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think Where somebody's going to get it pretty quick. Is my oh and D is DJ in here? Can I open this? Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm trying to find. Do it, do it to it. Let's see if I can do it without destroying. This. Where's the? I just saw her table. Today. Oh, smooth that out real quick. Where is it? What are you looking for? I'm looking for my card, my $25 entry card. Oh, it's right there. No, it's not. Where are you from? Oh, it is? 
to your phone. There it is. So, guys, $25. You can also get you on the card. The first one, Milwaukee Liberty. The second one, the half ounce silver. There's DJ right there. I got. So, we got Dennis, 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 Kathleen, and Kathleen. When we get four more, we'll scratch and see who's getting the Milwaukee Liberty. All right. And DJ, I did not send your package out. I'm still putting that thing together. The rest of you guys' packages went out except for a, a few people. Um, I kept um, Matthew uh, Matthew P's just in case we get to meet up with him and say hi. Figured I'd save on shipping since, since you're right. You're actually not far at all from us, dude. I, I googled your your address. I know where you live, Matthew. <laughs> uh, but it's not far at all, so maybe we can. Yeah, meet you're up. right down. You're right down away from us. All right, I do. No, that is not. I don't see a silver ender. Hey, Ken Rhodes with the five. Says, give me a taco. Yeah, oh, thank you, Ken. Uh, give me covered, and I'll uh, put some marks on the list. You are covered. That's uh, All right. Um, yeah, like I said, two boxes today. You need my address. You know what, DJ? Uh, so, <laughs> that's scary. I know, right? Um, we know where you live. <laughs> I'm on my secondary computer here that I leave here. Um, so I don't have a few of your addresses in there, um, but the most of you guys, you guys are good to go. Uh, yeah, DJ, yeah, it, I, I'm, all jokes aside, DJ, when I send you a package this time, I am going to make you verify it for sure, um, just so we're all on the same page. Can you imagine, dude, I put that together, that package finally, and then good old snacks has a snacks in it. Are you good? Okay. All right, one through 50, go with two. Fender Road. Let's go. Wait, did you get a Fender on the on the cart? No, I didn't. I, I don't mean to offend you. Fender Road. Give me, give me, give me. Give me the horrible. A Fender Road. Hey, Kathleen, in a major way. You love to see it. Hello, guys. Happy Jock on Tuesday. I'm feeling much better up here. I'm back in a major way. Kathleen, what? that is great to hear. All right. I love it. I'm so glad to hear you're doing well. We need three more people to finish this cart off. A Fender, you are on the bottom there. All right, so your fender said 45, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. That's going to be how many rolls? Five rolls. I'll grab two. You grab three, and I got regular rolls. Three. All right, here we go. I, oh, what is going on there? There's some markings on that. Uh, it's not our markings, so. All right, regular rolls. I'm going to switch over to this uh, doll's hair. Alright. Snacks. I don't even know what I won. Put it in the giveaway. I still want to meet you guys before you leave, says Matthew. Yeah. Um, yeah, Matthew, I'm not sure about our schedule. I, I don't even have a schedule, to be honest. He's over here jumping through hoops, going to your appointments and stuff. Yeah, dude, look, for sure, DJ. I'm going to call you before and we'll make sure we get a, you know, I'm going to send like a, a bodyguard with it. Oh, uh, I got a jerk. Jerk going. I sent you an email, says Michael Ellis. I got you, brother. Got my first 2021 quarter today. So pretty, Ooh. says Matthew. I haven't even seen one yet. Uh, I do have a box of quarters, but there's not going to be any fun. It's an older box. Uh, my gals, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, I don't have any hundo hundo pulls, though, I don't think. Let me double check. I have no hundo hundo pulls, but if you want to get in for a hundo, you are good to go, my friend. Wait, who did a hundo hundo? Nobody yet. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, am I behind? Nobody yet. That will fill that card. Taco Tuesday. Uh, just give me the word, Michael, and you are good to go, my friend. <laughs> I thought Kathleen said, Colorado, how are you, sweaty? How you sweating, Colorado? <laughs> how are you, sweaty? Actually, the weather's been like, it's been, I've been enjoying it. You know, around here, it's been raining. Everybody's hating the Memorial Day weekend because it's raining, but yeah, I like the rain a lot. I like the rain a lot. Uh, not only did it rain, but it hailed a little bit. Oh, gosh, did it ever. Uh, yeah, Nagy throwing up the tacos. You love to see it. Or taste it. Taste it. Taste it. Come on, let's start it off with some All right, I got my last roll. I got my last roll. Let's do somebody with your cat. Your cat been around at least. Uh oh, somebody's cat is out of the bag. This cat's out of the bag. I got drained down a YouTube half hour cat videos last night. You did? Holy cat. 
Down to two slots in my nickel album. Just need a 38S and a 50D. I found the 39S. Dude, that 50D is going to be so hard. So is that 38S. Oh, two pack. Uh, I picked up a box of nickels today. I haven't popped it open or anything. Oh, yeah, we got the nickels today. We managed to score a box of nickels. I'm, just, I'm surprised. I mean, are you guys having a hard time finding coins in our halves? Uh, what do we got here? So, a Federer is going to get a wheel spin, and you are on the card as well. Let's pull up this wheel and see if it's working. Yeah, supposedly we're back in a coin shortage again, so I don't know how, how are you guys doing on finding coins. Because, Let's talk about that in a second. Yeah, we've been having some problems here, so I'm hoping when we get back in Texas, it's going to be Alright, so let's do a wheel oh, spin. Steven. Here we go. One, two, end. and three. Yeah, both are super hard to find. Alright, Merc Dom. I picked up some Merc Doms today from the coin shop, so we are good to go. I think I've only ever found one or two. One or two today. 1940. Yeah, put that in for a fender road. Mm -hmm. Nice, color of coins is awesome, dude. I don't know if I've ever found that. Quarter designs are the only ones in shorts right now. I know, but is it me or do some people at the bank not know what they're talking about? Like, uh, do you get any of the banks with green, green energy? Can, can we? I don't know. I don't know if I buy this. So I call Shannon. Yeah, it's over with a five. All right, I want the top not throwing up the tacos, but throwing up the tacos. Yeah, I got a fitty fitty from Ozzy. Ozzy with a fitty! Thank you, Ozzy! I don't know if Michael Ellis is still in chat. Let me respond to this video real quick. While well, I'm doing that, do one roll for, one roll for 10 rows. 10 rows? One roll? Oh, one row? One roll? Alright, 10 rows. Oh. I, what did I see? I saw something really cool today. Uh, yeah, for two things that are really couple, cool. Couple things that are really cool. Uh, I've got a, I'll have a video coming out, hopefully tomorrow, on one of them. An experimental uh, thing. Experimental silver suit. I'm excited about that. Uh, I got no silver. Oh, it was right there. Do you want to go ahead and do that, Michael? It's up to you, buddy. Let me know. I just I just emailed you. The best part about going to a bank is that they don't know why you're ordering boxes of coins and they're mind boggled when you tell them. I just like I counting like to them. Like to count. That's pretty good. Thank I you, CWM. Love to... <laughs> I love to count. Whoa. Where was it where I where I got mad at? I got mad at somebody recently, remember? Oh, he got mad at, at the credit union. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it was yeah. that crazy. It was crazy. So I go in, or, and, and I go in, and I dump my coins, and I'm walking out with my receipt, and I, and I, and I, and I always joke with my mom. I always say like, I'm the was the one making all the noise. What do you need, Paul? I think those are too close to the speaker. I think is that why the music's too loud? Everyone's saying that. What you got? Music doesn't. Oh, might be, dude. How's that? Might be. I didn't even think about that. Is that better for you guys? I'm so sorry. I apologize for that. That might be. We had our our headset. No, that wouldn't. That would that would be an input, not an output. Maybe. Who knows? What was I saying? Gosh darn it. We were talking about in. Much better. Uh, All right. I apologize, man. My fault. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was there. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, what was I talking? Oh, we yeah. were talking about the credit union. So credit union, I go in, I dump my coins, and then I ask for a box of. Nickels and a box of pennies, and she's like, she's like, what do you want nickels for? And I was like, I just need a box of nickels. And she's like, no, 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 you don't ever use nickels. What do you need a box of nickels for? And I'm like, she said nobody ever uses yeah, ten dollar bills or nickels. nickels. There's no music now. I'll get, I'll get it figured. Out. I don't worry about it. <laughs> no, there's no music. No music. But I kept saying to myself, like, why does it matter? And she kept insisting, what do you do with them? Why do you need them? Like, it kind of rude. And I was like, you should, you should have let me know. I would have came and dealt with. Wow. Oh. I really? dealt with her. Like, listen. Yeah, Kathleen, I know, right? Listen, Miss Miss Nichols. I was just like, well, first of all, I mean, hey, Roseanne. First of all, it's none of their business at all what you do with your money. Not one bit. She's like, you don't need nickels or $10 bills. Well, you don't need $100 bills then. 
Well, you, you don't know, need to worry about what I'm doing with my uh, Yeah, exactly. My money. It's none of your business what I do with my money. If, if I want to take it home, throw it all in bed and roll in it, I can do that. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just gonna end this this problem right now. Hold on. Let's end this problem. Do it. Problem ended. He just pulled. Hello, 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 hello. He pulled the plug out. Okay. So I think is that better for everybody? I, I, we just got a new set of headphones, and maybe it had something on it. I think it had a microphone in it. Could be. Uh, but I think we should be good now. Hopefully, <laughs> much better. Okay. Gosh, much better. I apologize. Nate okay. Barber, what's up? Nate Barber, I talked to the man, the myth, the legend earlier today, and I owe that guy a steak dinner and a few old fashions, man. Or whatever you drink. I don't know what you drink. Nate probably Nate probably drinks like Zima. He probably drinks old Nat, Nat, Nat Ice. Probably drinks Zima and maybe like a... What, what do you think Nate would drink? We've met Nate. I don't think he drinks, but if he did... I don't think there's a, a drink out there that Nate wouldn't... Back in his day, mainly water. Okay, I got you on all the water you want. Even that carbonated good stuff, man. The pinkies up, Perrier, and the Kathleen and steak dinner, of course. All right, so let's keep this train on the tracks. White Claw. Are you a White Claw guy? Dude? He's a White Claw guy. All right, here, regular roll for Nagy. All right, Nagy, regular roll. Let's I go. tried that White Claw. I like like the carbonated <laughs> water. <laughs> Zima's still around. <laughs> Um, and oh, I, right, I just don't care for that white. I don't care for like the flavor. I don't know. He he would drink. Dude, they're not good. I mean, make, a lot of people like them. But they're not very good in my opinion. What's that? The white claws. I've never had it. I love carbonated. I even like weird flavored waters. Like this thing I'm drinking tonight, guys, is coconut lime. Normally, I would just not even not even buy anything like this. But it's it's such a weird flavor that it's good. Coconut lime. There's not much I didn't drink back in the day. All right, I see you. Yeah, I, uh, I'll ban you, Snacks. Hey, come on, don't ban me. I've had a Zima before. I had a Zima. They're pretty gross. No taste, white club. There's just, I don't know, man. I, I just, not something I enjoy. All right, nothing there. All right, now it's going to be Ozzy with a fitty, fitty. Grab 10 rolls. You open rolls. I'm going to just keep up with the chat. Oh, uh, Michael Ellis, what are we doing, buddy? Let me know. Four, six, eight, and ten. Someone wants to send a message. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gargle them in your mouth? Gross. True ice hey, tea. Get... Truly iced teas. Concept is white. Oh, I've, I've never tried that either, did you? Smiley. All right, fody odi odi Beautiful fody odi odi Going to... And uh, Hello. Hello. Yesterday I drank alcohol for the first time in two years. Went a couple crazy. Wait. Went crazy on a couple bottles of vodka. The vodka. Ow. Hey, once in a while, you know, it's not a bad thing to it helps you relax. As long as you're of age and irresponsible, not driving. Alright, so Michael Ellis is gonna be in the VIP lounge with the Hundo Hundo. Alright. Get him in there. Get get the snacks going in there. You got the food heating. Hey, the prettiest girl in the chat is in here, Miss Nora. How you doing, Nora? Everybody say hi to Nora. What's up, Nora? How you doing? Let's all chat to Nora. Hold on. Are you being nice to your brother and your dad? You gotta, you gotta be the the big sister. Where does she even find these? Cool help, help him color inside the lines. Share, share the, the good crayons. <laughs> she, I think she just goes through and picks random. I think it's, she did a better job than is I. That, is that a, is that something like a taco? What is that? Hers is way prettier than mine. Yeah, yours is not very nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hey, Nora. <laughs> all, all of yours are just laughing. It's like you're just weird. I'm laughing at your dad. He's goofy, Nora. <laughs> you got a goofy dad. Come on. But he's a good guy. Did Don't you pick that? on your brother. Eat all your vegetables. Oh and gosh. paint your dad's nails pink and purple. That's what I say. It's ridiculous. All right, come on. We need some silver, please. Any silvers? Not so yet. Or not, not so yet. Not so yet. Not so yet. <laughs> not yet so. So not yet. I don't know what I was trying to say. As of yet, no. There you go. That's a good one. Now we can talk. Is 
she does pick them at random. She calls emojis the be the beautiful stuff as opposed to the letters. The beautiful. Dad, show me the beautiful stuff. That's too cute. Did I tell Did I tell you I think uh, Nate is Santa Claus? He because of his belly? No, no, because he's got gray hair. <laughs> no, that's not why. Because he can't see him when he wears tiny little glasses. Nope, that's not it either. Oh, why? Because I was on another YouTube channel. Hey, DJ. I was on another YouTube channel and I was talking to somebody, one of the guys that was streaming, and Nate sends me a screen capture of my conversation with him. Creepy. And I was like, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows oh, when you're awake. Oh, Nate's Nate's. He's got his. He's got his. Uh, he's got his, his. His eyes on the prize. He knew. He, he knew it was me. <laughs> Two boxes. You got one silver. Hey, you're beating us so far. Yeah, you're doing better than us so far. Always paint your dad's nails the brighter the color, the better. Says That's the right. What's up, Alexander? The better. And a nice... If I get a glass, will you try this? I'm just curious your thoughts on it. it it's not the carbonated water. It's like the good one. Sure. What is it? It's it's, it's coconut, coconut lime. lime. Coconut lime. It's just a very... like. Try it with an open mind, though. Don't say you're not going to like it already. I'm not going to like it already. Because it's a very unique flavor. Like, I, I, I either like it so much I don't like it, or I don't like it so much I like it. I knew it was Paul when I heard the guy read the question out loud. <laughs> I looked up, the, I looked up, and sure enough, it was Paul. It was me. It was definitely me. Here, try that. And Nate was like, are you trolling this guy? And I'm like, no. All right, here we go. Interest, it's interesting. What up, Frankie G? Let's go. Wait, wait. Put the lime in the coconut. Oh, just drink it. But smell it. it smells weird too. Drink it. I want to taste it. Oh, isn't that weird? But now, really, like, enjoy the flavor for a minute. I hope so, Colorado coins. Isn't it strange, but good and weird? It starts off good. Yeah, it's weird, right? And then you like and it, and then, then you don't like it, and then you like it again, and then you don't like it, but then you like it again. But then you get that coconut flavor back, and then you're like, okay. All, uh, snacks. You can also tell your mama she owes wait, she owes me oh wait, oh homemade ravioli. Mm. We'll see how things go tomorrow. I don't know about that. No, I got you, Nate. We'd love to have you. And drink it all up. Exactly. Garlic water. Ooh. Colorado, they look good Saturday night. They sure did. Let's go, Avalanche. What is it? Feel like I just drank like it's weird, right? But good, like right? Cologne. It's weird. Yeah, it's very weird flavor. Go try one. It's the ice drinks, the coconut limeade. It's like I drank cologne. I almost went to a. I almost went to that um, avalanche game. Thinking about going to a Rockies game tomorrow night if we don't have boxes. So if you don't see me, give me a break. I want to go see a Rockies game. <laughs> That's why you don't didn't be hogging all the ravioli. That's why you didn't order. I want to go to a Rockies you game. You just want to go to a Rockies game. I thought we were tight. Nate, you you get, there's very few people that I would split my mom's raviolis with. That's true. I mean, you could ask him. I hold it. I mean, like. His best friend, he tells her. No. Nope. He's like, get out. Mm -mm. He's like, get out. No. Nope. Leave, leave the Tupperware. Just, you can smell it. But that's it. Get out of here. But Nate, I got not you. not joking. I'd absolutely love to have you over for a, for a real, real uh, Italian dinner. I chip boy D ravioli casserole thoughts. Blech. Oh gosh. But Nate, yeah, you're good. The whole family. We'll make them all fresh for you. She wants to go to a Rockies game. I I, I they play the, the Rangers tomorrow, I think. Do they? Yeah, my best friend in the world. One of my one of two best friends in my in the whole whole world. Alicia, he's talking about you. I'm talking about you, Alicia. She, I've known her, we've been best friends since like sixth groups. No, seventh grade. Miss McCorkle's class. Miss English. McCorkle. She used to have a whistle and she would blow it in your ear if you were like, like, like she would sneak up behind you and like blow it in your ear. So that's, the, the that's goal, like, uh... but, but it was always, the goal was to, to, to hide her, to hide the whistle. Okay. Because she was just, she was that one, she was just angry all the time. Like she Sounds was just like mean. It. That sounds pretty mean. Uh, but yeah, I've known her for a long time, and she ain't get, she still doesn't get ravioli. She, 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 does, she gets all the broken ravioli. ones. I make a little pile. If they break, I put it in a Tupperware for her. <laughs> he spits them out and makes a pile. No, if I pull them out the pot when they're boiling and they break open, oh, okay. those are leashes. Okay. 
what junior high did you go to? I went to Sproul. Sproul Junior High, and I went to a Whitefield High School. What's up, Mike Eater? Sproul. That sounds like a an alien race. Maybe the off Sproul of Spartans. That sounds like an alien race off of Marvel Universe or something. If we had some Canada and Graviolas, it's way better. Hey, man, yeah, I have nothing against Chef Boyardee. <laughs> yeah, it's some Italian spices. Too. Hey, you're right. Might as well season it up. That's pretty good. Colorado Rockies game or from a hockey's game, especially during the Oh, I, know. Uh, I was going to go to that Avalanche game. It was like 80 bucks a ticket, but cheap skate over here who didn't want to go. I don't got $80. It's a play. It's an Avalanche playoff game. I mean, I do, but I... I, if I had eighty dollars, oh, you I, went to Doherty. My I invested in AMC. My dad taught at Doherty for a while. And then I'm pretty sure. Don't hold me to that, but hold me to it. Lions High School in Colorado. Lions High School. That sounds like a private school, right? Doesn't well, it? What's, kind of, what's the name? What's that private school you were telling me about? I don't know. I don't even know the name of it. It's so private. You don't. Yeah, even there's know the no name. name. It's called. It's just school. school. It's just it's yeah. A secret school. There's a real there's a private school out here that's like tucked away in the hills, and a lot of famous people's kids go there. What? You have a five hundred dollar box. Fowler High School. Oh, so Fowler. So you're out east, right? Fowler, I think. Fowler. That, that's the name of the dog in the movie The Witch. Is it? Yeah. Fowler. Creepy movie. That's a great. Movie. Oh my gosh! No, it's like not. It's super creepy. Super creepy. Black Phillip. All right, I got an 83. Looking for the no FG. It's got the FG. <laughs> I came. I, w- I went upstairs uh, the other night, um, and um, I'm staying with my folks for for uh, while while I'm here visiting. And uh, I, my mom was watching uh, Django Unchained. I think it's called. Yeah. And I'm like, Mom, you can't watch that movie. There's a lot of like crazy scenes, like violence. And stuff. I haven't seen it. I peek up the stairs. She fast forwarding through all the violence. <laughs> And they get into the good parts. <laughs> She's like, I, I just fast forward through them. I don't even watch them. And I was like, oh, right, that's, a, that's a solution. Maggie wants some homemade ravioli. They're so good, dude. Little town in Easter Plains here in Colorado. I had a really good football program. And yeah, best years of my life. I, I hear you. Colorado coins. So you wish we could all just reverse the clock. Ozzy, let's get you a Silverlicious pull. Lions is called the gateway to the Rickies. Uh, you didn't get Ozzy on that card. Oh, what? Let's get Ozzy. How much? Two. Two and then Michael Ellis one will fill the card and we start a new start a new card for Michael Ellis. Ozzy, he's going on the card. Twice. The gateway to the Rockies. If you're ever to the Rickies uh, on the eastern slope, it's on the way to Esses Park. Oh, nice! I love Esses Park. It's beautiful. Uh, number two, and then Michael E is going to finish off that card, and then Michael, we give me another card, and I will give him. He gets three more. Correct? That's correct. All right. Michael Ellis, you go on the top of the next card. Ah, three number spots. two, number two. Let's see what we're going to do. I think I told you guys my SS Park name. All right, Maria Thaler right there. 18, 1780 uh, restrike. Big old hunk of silver. There's Michael Ellis three times on the card. Oh, Kathleen, no problem. Give me one second. All right, this goes to the one, the only, Ozzy Cologne. That's a good pull, actually. So, let me explain the card. So, for every $25, you get five rolls, you get your wheel spin, and you get your name on this card. Once it's full, each slot is $25. I scratch this bar here, and it randomly generates numbers. Then I scratch the globe up top, and whoever's number matches that uh, wins the prize. The first prize tonight is a Walking Liberty, Ozzy Cologne. Uh, the second prize will be a half ounce silver. This is Parker Football. Beautiful place. If you guys ever want to go somewhere just beautiful, there's a lot of places in Colorado. This is Park being one of them. You know what? We're going to switch it to a Benji because the only two walkers I have are really not having a good day. Jeez, back in that Benji. Yeah, nice. Kathleen, that takes place of bucket pulls. It's just a way of it's it's something easier for us to do than because every day I was having to go through hundreds of tokens and rearrange them. Tokens. Hundreds. This is for Ozzy as well. Thousands of hours spent. This is a lot easier. And it's more fun and it's very random. Uh, this generates random numbers. 
uh, and then it's you know it's so it's it's random and fair. I'll show you exactly how it works because we're gonna do one right this second. Take your take your time and uh, go through it slowly, so they can kind of get a feel for it. Maybe we could do one of these tonight for a for a prize or something. Maybe. All right, guys. So I'm gonna scratch off new numbers. I'll show you whose numbers is who. All right, so he's scratching the general. Right, so the Dennis, number. you are three and five and seven <coughs> and nine. Kathleen is eight, eight and four. Offender Road is two. Ozzy is six and one. Michael Ellis is zero. All right, let's see. Walk, uh, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, there it is. There we go. So we scratched the globe, and that tells us what the number number two is. The winner. Offender Road. Right there. Hey, Fender Road with a win. There you go. Congrats, congrats. So it's yeah, gonna be this a beautiful 1962 Benjamin Franklin. Fender. All right, congrats, congrats. All right, Fender, congratulations. Bring back being boozled. No. Blech. <laughs> we sent one to Nate. Uh, and his family to try them, and he was like, "Are there any good ones in here?" There you go. Offender. I wonder if they make trick sets that are all bad ones. That would they be hilarious. Do. So Michael is starting off the next card. He's already got three slots on there. We got seven more slots to go, and then we'll do a drawing for that one as well. Be back in thirty, y'all. Nothing awesome while I'm gone, says Roseanne. All right, Roseanne, we'll have to put the whole stream on pause. It, yeah, Roseanne. Kathleen, it really is. It's so much easier because I was. It was taking me like a half an hour to go through all the the numbers and letters every night, and then he would walk in and bump the table, and they'd go everywhere, and I'd have to like rearrange them again. And so whatever you want to tell yourself. Dude. Or I'd come in like five with five minutes to spare. And I was like, oh, for, I forgot to do it. That's the truth. I forgot to do the tickets. And so I'd have to run and rush Okay, through. Google, next song. So. That's the real truth. Oh, you pull out a hundo hundo for Michael Ellis. All right. I'm going to check PayPal, so I think where it might be all caught. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. So we need 20 out, right? Yep. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, after this, we're all caught up. If anybody wants to get in, um, you're good to go. All right, let's see. Let's I worked see. hard getting those thousands of those foam things. Oh, we still have them, Cat. We We're still there. have them. Which is, there's a lot, there's just a lot going on right now with him, and our schedule is so tight as it is that. Oh, I thought I had it. It's just, so oh, and there's a smile. I got a smiley. Oh, two photo yodies. I got a smiley. How many smiles you put in there? Three? Three. All right. Only three. Was I supposed to put more? I don't know. Was I supposed to put less? We didn't talk about it. Yeah, we didn't talk awesome. about it. I just did it. Uh, you get a full bean. A bad beans on Amazon. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we don't even have the beans here, do we? No, I don't think so. No, man. I would pay money to see you eat one. What if the car gets filled? Uh, I got to wait till it's full. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just got to wait till it, it just, fills. It just continues on and on. Um, and you, and don't have, many streams you don't have to be here. Uh, if you win, we're gonna we're gonna send it out to you. True story. I don't tell fake stories. All right. Hey Sam, would you wanna would you wanna do a card tonight? Uh yeah, I'm good. Job. Maybe we'll do a. Maybe we'll do a, a small one or something. Something fun. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll just do some small. Mount Silver. Like gold. No, I'm just kidding. What is, where is my gold coin? I ain't telling you. Where is my gold coin at that I bought? I sent it to Mia for free. You probably did. You probably met Mia. Is Mia in here? Nope, she's too busy. She's looking at her gold coin, coin right? I bought a gold coin at the coin show, and I haven't I haven't seen it since. <laughs> I have. And it was MS70. It certainly was. It was. It is. Yeah, you, bro you broke it out of the, the slab. Yep, I already spent it. Probably good. 
I told the group, oh, facilitator that I go by the name. Oh, I got to show you guys something. I'm going to give them a, a sneak peek here. You keep opening. All right. I'm going to open. So them. we're at the coin shop today. Can you do some trick shots on that table with the roll with the rolls back there? So it's maybe Maggie silver. You could you could like stack up some rolls and like jump it and then knock the eight ball in somehow. So at this coin shop, they have the craziest. There's two crazy items they have out. Paul's gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna give him a sneak preview. Give him a sneak preview. The first one I'm gonna give you a sneak preview is how many ounces was that bar? The bar. One thousand. 89. No, 1,083.7. There you go. Was this is a um, a huge silver bar um, from, what was it from? World War II. World War II. I'd have to read the literature on it, but it's from a sunken treasure ship. But He can't even do it any kind of justice. I, I, so he wussed out on me tonight, guys. I told him I said that's a slab ASC. Look at the size of this. Strap. There's in. a strap holding that bar down, so it doesn't float away. I told him to pick up the bar mm -hmm. and hold it, and he wouldn't do it. That's a liability. Like, no, you're not gonna you're you're not gonna drop it, right? I might. Why would you drop it? It's only a thousand ounces. There's the top of it. It's a humongous bar. The bar's like this big. And like and the, that big around. The coolest thing is this. I can't believe he wouldn't pick it up. So here is a filing cabinet, and on top. Oh no, that's a safe. That looks like a refrigerator. That's a safe. It's that's not a, fridge. a refrigerator. You are eating. Look something. at this. That is all hand poured silver. How much? How many ounces? One thousand four hundred. Fourteen hundred ounces. ounces of silver. I wish I had a scale to show you how big this is. This thing is humongous. It's, it's probably massive. Like, it's probably like this tall, like at least that tall. It's crazy. And it's one thousand four hundred ounces of silver. And the the way that they got it is ridiculous. Well, they can wait for the video yeah. for that. It but is pretty it's, ridiculous. It's not going to be a long video or anything. And we got another something really cool, too, a, a, a bill. But I won't give that away, either. You already, you already gave everything else away. Why not? Yeah, it's the crew. Make it first peek. First first dibs. First peeks. Yeah, Michael, it doesn't do it justice in the picture. That thing is, like, just, just like, I don't know. It's it's crazy how big it is. I, that's why I wanted you to carry the bar. wanted you to pick up the bar to show them just how huge that bar is. Well, I didn't want to drop it on my toe or something. And it would have made a way better photo. Well, sorry about it. But he wouldn't do it. Nope. And I don't trust myself. You're going to make the... I make love the silver bar. It? it reminds me of something in an old war movie. Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. It is. Bogey. That's, that's the feel it has, for sure. I might go back in there and I'll pick it up. You, you know the reason, real reason I didn't pick it up? Why? Is because the awesome lady that was helping us out was going above and beyond. Paul's like going way overboard with videos and taking pictures of stuff. And she's trying to do her job. There's people waiting outside. And she, you said, well, can he pick it up? And she looked at me like this. Like, like she looked at me like she didn't want me to do it. It was in the special display case. I'm not going to. So you guilt her into it. She was awesome. I like that lady. I would never put her I would have guilt. I would have guilted her into it. I hope she's watching. If you're watching, <laughs> this is what I deal with. I would have guilted her. I'd be like, you really? Not gonna Kelly's let, Heroes? You're not gonna let me care. You're not going to let me touch Is that an old war movie? I'm not familiar with that. It Hope, sounds like Hope an old Bruce, Bruce, uh, Bruce Wayne. No. John Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Movie. Hop along. You're really not gonna let me carry it. I'm pretty good at gilding people and doing and stuff. Can you I don't like it now. No. Now that it's a little bit warmer, it has a whole weird taste now. Yes, you you can absolutely smelt silver halves. There's nothing wrong with it, as long as you same, are, Michael. As as long as you're not trying to to profit off of uh, profit off of it, uh, you can melt it down. Actually, uh, it, anybody can melt down silver. Uh, actually, time traveler, I wanted to verify your address. I have hold on. Uh, there's a few packages I have that I wanted to. Uh, 
Kelly's Heroes is an old war movie. Watch it. Okay. Okay. Here it's like uh, Hogan's Heroes. So Time Traveler. Uh, I have a few packages, like I said. Hold on, real quick. This one sounds funny. Maybe not. Let me try this. Whoops, and then I drop it. I don't know. It sounded funky, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It didn't have any die rotation. So these are the, the only packages that didn't go out because I had to verify addresses. Um, and there's a few in here that, like, uh, um, this one's for Nora and Nate. I already talked to them. I want to send one big, big package out to them. DJ, DJ knows the deal. Uh, Peter Bowes, I wanted to verify if Peter's in here. Uh, Matthew Avery as well. I think he's another Colorado Springs. I was just going to see if I could meet up with him. And there's Time Traveler right there. Need to get your address verified. I'm using a different computer. And then I have uh, Ringing Constitutional and Isaiah's. So those are the only packages that didn't go out. Yeah, postage went up, guys, so that's why we're going. <laughs> Grab my went, package. It went up a lot. Matthew Avery, your package actually hit the mailbox today. I forgot that. It's the, the other Colorado Springs guy. Who's that? Who does, Matthew Avery, I think. Matthew, no, Matthew Avery is in Canada. Who am I thinking of? Oh, that was a Canadian one. So my postage, guys, went up on my how I do postage for you guys. Um, so all the Canadians and stuff, I'm holding until I have a bunch of them to send. <laughs> so packages to send from the beginning of May in Texas before you went to Colorado. I, I have a handful of them, yes. They're, they are in Texas. They will go out when I get back. Not many, but a few. Uh, but, uh, as far as, um... um if you, I wouldn't mind meeting up Matthew P for uh, just to hang out for a minute or something. Um, we'll have to figure something out while we're here. Down, go Rockies! I think I'm gonna go to that game tomorrow. If if um, I might, we might stream. I don't know, but it'd be nice to. If it's gonna rain and stuff, I'm gonna just stay here home and stream. I'm not gonna go. You don't want to go sit in the rain. It's rained here every night for. Forever, it seems like. Let me see what the weather looks like in general. What's the weather looking like? Frightful. But inside, it's so... All right, tomorrow, high of 77, low of 50. Jake Bendel's headed to Vegas tomorrow. Nice, Jake. Let's go, dude. It doesn't show good. rain. Really? It's supposed to be a nice day. 77 is the high. Oh, 77's not bad. Uh -uh. I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't be freezing to death. What's up, Silver Keeper? Silver Keeper is here. Yeah. yeah, I think they play the Texans, which kind of stinks. I mean, that's cool, whatever. But, like, I live in Texas. Couldn't it have been somebody that I don't have to go see all the time? Like, couldn't it have been, <laughs> you know what I mean? The one game I'm going to go to? Gonna... I just love that field. I love being... I've specific seats that I sit in at every time and it's just nice to just kick your feet up and just enjoy the beautiful weather and the beautiful stadium. Paul Sachs, what was your very first jobs? Oh gosh. Um my very first job was a newspaper. I delivered newspapers. First job, man. That was my and really, really, really my very first job would be like selling crawdads. Because I used to sell crawdads to a bait and shop. Thank you, Time Traveler. My watch just went off, so I'm sure I have it. Yeah, I got it. I used to go catch crawdads at a creek. Mine was either construction, sell. framing houses. Um, I'm trying to think of like my first like a typical job that every. Um, I worked at Sam's Club for a while. Um, um, bag boy. I never worked at a grocery store. I, were, I was the salad bar attendant at Western Sizzlin'. That's because if they put you anywhere else, you'd eat all that. Exactly. I, I was just getting ready to say that. The reason they put me on the salad bar is they knew I wasn't going to eat any of the salad. Cool. Carpets of Woodland Park. I love <laughs> Woodland Park. I have friends up there. We just drove through there yesterday. Matthew P., we went down to, uh, drove to Woodland Park, and we, we went to Cripple Creek, uh, but came back down, went through Manitou, uh, went through uh, Old Colorado City. Stopped at the candy shop, you know what I mean? Got a little candy, and then uh, and then.
and then headed back down Cimarron. I mean, the Tiger says they're great. They're All right, great. two Subdelicious pulls for Michael Ellis. Guys, we are caught up. If anybody wants to get in, we still have 10, 13 rolls in this box. Yeah, paper route. Oh, my gosh, man. Um, what am I doing? Check a paper. My, my friends all did paper routes, and I found out that they were making money, and all they did was... Go pick up papers, roll them up, put a rubber band on it. I did it for it one day. I remember sticking my head out of this van. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. It's freezing. No. No. Well, I did look, we did a free paper. It was like one of the free Seven. papers, the advertisement papers. <coughs> <coughs> so we didn't have to go collect Hey, it. everybody in the Slurpee? 7-Eleven. <coughs> oh, man. I swallowed wrong. But you're we didn't. You're not even eating. We didn't have to go collect uh, money for the paper. All right, seven and eleven. A pit tour at the big gold mine I worked at in Cripple Creek. I went there as a field trip in a field trip, and one of the kids stole a. What are those little tiny knives called? Pocket. Frog knife. Pocket. I forget what they're called, but a little tiny knife. And we all had to sit there. We didn't get the tour because we had to sit there till he gave it up. It was terrible. Oh, my gosh. 7-Eleven. And how embarrassing for him. Yeah. Wasted like two hours. It was you, wasn't it? No, I was kidding. Scott. <laughs> I remember. Scotty or Scott. Scott. If you're out there, stop see. stealing. He also stole a camera when I got to go to my... Um, you know, you go, in here in Colorado, you get to go to Gold Camp, which is like this... Everybody looks forward to it. Sixth grade, you get to go repel. You get to build campfires. He stole a camera, so nobody got to go repelling because he stole a camera. And everybody knew it was him. Scott, <laughs> grow up. Number 11. Everybody remembers the uh, the uh, mining hey, incident. Hey, another Maria Thaler. Another Thaler. Those things are awesome. Good pulls, too. That's a, a lot of silver. Those are... I don't know what those are going for now, but I know they're yeah, more... That, they had some at the coin shop, but they were like way too much. All right, and your 240 bonus coins. Thank you so much, I'm Michael. I hope you join yourself in the VIP lounge. If you need anything, let us know. We're caught up, guys. So these are both Michael Ellis? Yeah. Right. We still got a free video to do. He stole a camera while being on camera. For real, he right? Camera. He's got it home the next trip. He also, you guys want to hear the worst thing he ever did? I had a music recital in like fourth grade or fifth grade or something. And all I was doing, oh, mystery box. You're right, Michael. I was playing the xylophone. Is that, is that the thing with the two? And I only had like three bars that were my notes. And while we were walking on stage, he stole my bars. So I had to like pretend to play it. Oh, I was, I was, I, was, I oh God, I was heartbroken. I, pra I practiced this for like six weeks. Like, Why are you laughing? Why? It's, it's messed up. It's kind of messed up. Give like, me the mystery box. How did did you tell on him? Yes, I told on him. I know you. I did. was crying all tattletale. sorts of stuff. I got Jolly Ranchers to stop me from crying all sorts it's of stuff. It's a tattletale. Man, and, but it's always this one kid. Like, can you? What's the problem? All right, Michael Ellis, one through fifty, buddy. I'll let you know if the number's been picked. Uh, we'll keep going. I can imagine you too telling on him. 28. Is 28 a good number? I don't know. Yes, right, it's a good number. a good number. We've been going a while on this mystery box. I know. All right, let me. Zero, two, eight. Engage. And we're going to go a little longer because that's not that's the right not number. It. Paul knows what it is, guys. I know what the number. And you guys have been all You've around been a the cheapskate. number. I'm, I'll give you one free number. Okay. I'll give you a free number. Mm. Do I get to pick it? You could. I'll let you pick it. What happens if I get it? If you get it, then it's got to go into the free giveaway, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'm going to guess 44. 44. 44. All right, hold on. I'm going to take 44 up here. All right, 44 coming off. This could be in the free giveaway, guys, because I have no idea what the number is. He doesn't know what it is. All right, do it. One, two, 
three. Not a, I tried. I tried, guys. I'll give you one more. <laughs> one more number. Uh, We'll make it easy for you guys. Thirty-three. 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 Nobody's picked thirty-three yet? Oh, I do scratch it off. I want to scratch it off again. Hey, Lost Planet, how you doing, buddy? Coming here to save the day. All right, 33 coming off there. Now, that's two extra numbers that you guys don't have to worry about on the list. One, two, three. All right, I have no idea. All right, I'll give you... No, it's good. You don't no get ideas. Any more. You don't get any more. We had Eco Week in Eastern Slope in sixth grade, a week at Cabins up by Mount Meeker. I don't even know where that is. Mount Meeker. You don't know Mount Meeker? Well, I'll tell you what, that drive to Crimson Creek was beautiful. Two stop with the five said I had Contiki Tacos. Let's go. $5 for 12. Contiki Tacos. What are Contiki, Contiki Tacos? I don't know. They sound good. $5 for Paul's Taco Pie. All right, do one roll for Paul. I'm going to have. I mean, for two some. I'm going to have two Del Beef burritos. No, you're not. We're on healthy mode, remember? <laughs> this guy cannot do healthy. It's impossible. What did you guys have for dinner? We. Um, what did Paul had. I had healthy garden salad with a sprig of cilantro, and he stopped at McDonald's on the way to Burger King. <laughs> That's what really happened. And then he got a large French fry and a hamburger, <laughs> cheeseburger, and then he went to and Burger King. And a lovely salmon, baked salmon with a lemon wedge. No. <laughs> let's let's see his wallet. Says <laughs> we already went through it. Remember? <laughs> uh, I had a actually he made it's a like a slab of turkey with some bacon and some. Um, I melt. I so I pepper jack a slab. It's like a little a real thick slice. Smoked ribs. A turkey steak, oh. if you will, and I pan seared it. And fried it on both sides, melted pepper jack cheese and some nice crispy bacon on top. It's actually pretty good. It was pretty low good. carb. And it's low carb. It wasn't low as good as him watching him eat McDonald's, but it is what it is. I mean, all right. So I guess we'll go ahead and do the free a giveaway. If you guys want in, you guys can still get in. We can stick around for a little bit longer. And if not, we'll go ahead and have an early. <laughs> Maggie says I used the two can dine coupon at McDonald's today. Had a Big Mac. There's a two condiment from Arby's that Paul's in love with. You get two big roast beef sandwiches, two orders of cooler fries, an order of mozzarella sticks, two drinks, two drinks. But he always changes one drink into and a milkshake and diabetes. I want Arby's. I I'm on I, a stupid when diet. When was the last time I went to Arby's? It's like three, four days ago. No, you're a liar. He's a liar. Can we do the free giveaway? Twenty seconds to speak up. Let's do, do it. Do the free giveaway. All right. Oh gosh. Uh, what is in the free giveaway? I don't uh, know. I don't know. Let's do, do a. What do you guys think? <laughs> the Roundhouse of Destiny's up here. He says, a... "Diabetes is serious." It is. It absolutely is. I had pork patty. Pork patty. Oh, I know what we'll give away. Hold on. Mm, I don't know what he's going to get, guys. Don't tell anyone DT from my Silver Squad owns an Arby's. What? Don't tell anyone from my Silver Squad owns an Arby's. What? I, I need to be friends with this person. <laughs> Go random says Lurk. Lurk. I, don't, I have no clue what he's looking for. Something cool, something different. Something cool, something different. Plugs for days says spaghetti sandwiches. That's what we're giving away tonight. Slabadooski in the free giveaway. MS70 Panda. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's, no, it's not. not. You liar. All right, so this is official registration number on here. It's 999 Fine Silver Enriched 2007 Sacagawea Dollar Slab. Where did you get that? Don't worry about it. Official registration number. Spine silver. What? Oh, it's silver plated. Yeah. 
Oh, that's cool. Uh, and then, oh, that's that's definitely upside Where'd down. Where'd you find that? Oh, if that's if that's a wounded eagle, silver plated wounded eagle, I'd be very upset. All right. Is that a two thousand P? It is a two thousand and seven. Oh, okay. It's so it's not a two thousand. Could you imagine if, if that was like a wounded eagle and they silver plated it? Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy Bubba Bogey's message here. It's a Cheerios dollar. Silver. Yeah. <laughs> silver Cheerios, Cheerios dollar. That would be cool. That'd be insane. 20 seconds to speak up, guys, or else we go on around two, three, four, till we have our winner. Winner chicken. Ah, uh, it's dinner. Cheerios dinner. Uh, where's my YouTube picker? There it is. I got my YouTube picker right here. Uh, it looks like it's going to be 32 comments. Pretty good odds. What are the odds? One in 32. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then we're going to, you're going to do some sh trick shots. No trick shots. Trick shots. We want to see one trick shot today. Why is it all trick shots? I have no clue. Why did it change? Let's bring it up there and then pull it out. Whip it out. Oh, weird. It, it, it flipped it. It's supposed to be yeah, it should long be, wings. Yeah, why did it do that? I have no idea. You tried to fix it today. I think you'll still be able to see it, though, and then I can fix it. I see, I go and fix it, and then it screws it up. Yeah, you, that's you how saw me fix, fix it. it. That's how he fixes things, guys. All right, guys, here we go. One, two, three, first winner. I hope you guys can see it on the screen. Hey, Del Del Brett. Brett. <laughs> it's the UB Random Con <laughs> picker. <laughs> Con picker. Uh, all right, so Del Brett, if you're in here, congrats, congrats. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to try to fix this because my OCD is it's driving, you, driving you crazy. All right, we're looking for Del Brett. Let's see if he is here. If he's not here, we'll pick another name. If it was a Cheerios, it would lose a lot of value being plated. It would, absolutely. Freaky guy. Oh, What's my up? gosh, I made it worse. Oh, no. Oh, no. How do you enter for these giveaways? Plugs for days. All you got to do. Oh, jeez. What the heck? All you got to do is uh, leave a comment on the previous. Oh, my God. Now it's now it's lost. backwards. What is going on? Oh, my God. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, at least it's straight. I'm, just, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Don't touch it anymore. All right. Was Del Brett even here? Too many Zimas. I didn't see him. Too many Zimas. I didn't see him. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Here we go. All right. We're going to pick another name, guys. Del Brett was not here. Time Traveler Time was Traveler. here. And Time Traveler, I can put it in your package. Time Traveler. Grumpy. Grump is that Grumpy on there? Is Grumpy I think here? it is Grumpy on there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Grumpy. Grumpy Elf. <laughs> grumpy Dwarf. All right, there he is. Time, time traveler, time congrats, traveler. congrats. All right, let me get time traveler on one of these. Time. How weird it flipped it like that. It's so strange. Finally, get it all good. Hey, I got a PayPal. Holy cow! I got a PayPal. Holy cow! PayPal cow. All right, there's for time traveler. All right, what are you how holy cowing about? Cowan? Holy holy cowing about. It's kinda of hard to say. What is going on? Just chill. I'm gonna do the rock. It is! What the heck? I think it's Lost Planet and he's dropping bombs! What? Lost, Lost Planet. Planet! Dropping bombs, 250 PayPal donation. We ain't going anywhere. We got another Ooh. giveaway we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this little box and get a brand new fresh one for Lost Planet. Lost who's Planet. going into VIP left. Make sure you guys say thanks because that's another giveaway with a 90% and a wheel spin. Boy, you see how excited you got all of a sudden? I'm, having, I'm excited the whole day. I'm having a good day. All right, so let's get Lost, Lost Planet. Planet in the VIP lounge coming in here and dropping bombs for the crew. We gotta get we gotta get into a new box. Get rid of it. Planet. Get the new one, or I'll here, do it. I'll put, yeah, you you do it. All right, hold on. I gotta get him in the VIP lounge. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, and you know what else we gotta get him on? 
Oh, the cards. He's got to fill up a whole he's card by himself. A, he's going to do a whole card. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I need a new card. So I'm going to do... This is what I'm going to do. Lost Planet, you get how many on this one? Lost... I'm going to put Lost P. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots on this card. So there we go. Got a little arrow. So you get Lost Planet. Whoop. It'll show. There we go. And then I put an arrow. That was very lazy of you. It, it's lazy, but... He hooks up the crew, and you just draw work, a line. Work smart, not hard. I'm yeah, I'm off this week. I usually can't stay up this late. All right, well, welcome, and thank you for everything you're doing. Give me a new card. New card coming up. We'll go ahead and scratch this off here. It's either going to be Michael Ellis or Lost Planet winning the half ounce silver. All right, and then Lost Planet, you're going to get three more spots on the new card. Get you in Lost Thought I was getting off work early, and Lost Planet says, nope, clock back in, Smacks. Let's go. Uh, uh. All right, let me get some new numbers uh, uh. for these right here, and then we'll get going on the second box, guys. All right, Lost, I got you on there with three spots. All right. Let's generate some new numbers for Lost Planet. All right, so Michael, numbers. you're going to be four, zero, five, and then Lost Planet is three, eight, nine, two, one, six, seven. All them good numbers. Show the numbers again. You didn't. You were like all over the place. Okay, so here it is. Ready? Four for Michael. All right, Michael is four zero five. Uh, Lost Planet is zero eight nine two one six and seven. Where did the zero come in at? Michael Ellis, the second one. You said. You said Lost was zero, but Lost was three. All right, here we go. Let's see who gets half ounce silver. It is number two, and number that's going to go to uh, Lost Planet right there. There it is. Lost Planet with a win right there. All right. This goes in for Lost Planet. Congrats, congrats. When we fill another card, we will go ahead and do another half ounce. Or no, we'll go Walker or 90% again. We'll, we'll rotate back and forth. All right. So I can get rid of this. That's a half an ounce of silver right there. Yeah, it certainly half is. Half an ounce of silver. Lost. Planet. That was almost dangerous. Almost dangerous? That was almost bad news, Bears, right there. All right, there you go for Lost Planet. Actually, use this. Whoa. All right, let's bust into it for Lost Planet. Hopefully, we've got some Enders. Let's go. Come on, Gramps. Come on, Gramps. All right, come on. Let me get my glasses on. Oh, I see a painted one, but I don't see silver. That looks funky. All right, looks like regular rolls. Of course, you'll get all your bonus coins. You'll get a wheel spin. You'll get all that. Any more boxes, says Dark Green. Dark Green, the only thing I got left, buddy, is literally 10... 14, do we, we have, in, oh, no, 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 actually, we have a partial, I might have a box, dude. I'm going to go with this I one. might have a box. Ooh, no, I'm going to go with that one. I might be able to hodgepodge a box together, dude. I got an 83. We have a, we have a box of quarters. I think, <laughs> let me see, move your, move your arm real quick. I don't think it's quite going to be a box if I had to look. I got a box of quarters upstairs. But we could do our best and try, buddy. Ooh, you know, so I had this idea. I thought, you know what I thought would be cool for the quarters? Or like if we did not did nickels or something? Oh, I got a sticker. Nah, sticker. I want that new fresh box. I feel you, Dark Green. No worries, dude. Exactly. Ever, we all know. We want a fresh box. No worries, dude. What up, Name Norte? Uh, we should have more Thursday. half dollar boxes on Thursday, hopefully. Come on, Silver. Let's, let's get Lost Planet in here. I've never had a spaghetti sandwich. Me neither, dude. But you, you didn't give me a chance to say okay. my idea. What's this groundbreaking idea? I thought it would be fun to do uh, nickels. And for every silver nickel that we find, give them a 40%. Or if we find a buffalo, give them a 40%. Ooh, I like that idea. So, so basically... 
you'd be pulling the same. I like that. I've been I've been dying to go through some nickels, so maybe we'll do that on Thursday. I would, or I, if we don't have hats, of course. The only the only th- my only worry about nickels is like you're gonna be shipping out a bunch of like common date nickels for. No, no, I would just ship out. No, beans. it would just be silvers or buffaloes. It wouldn't be fifties. Well, that's what I was thinking. That maybe if we, maybe if we did silvers, buffaloes, and then obviously if we get it a key date. That, that that we would definitely send that out, or like a low min. Hey, name things for stop by. No, what we'll do is I'll create a little a little chart where if you pull a certain amount of points, like if a fifties of one point, forties or two points. I'll, get, I'll give them about ninety percent if they get a key date. They're hard. They're extremely hard to get. I'm lagging on this end. All right, come on, let's get some silver, please. I got another one of Big Flips stick odds. We got a lot of stickers out here. He's been doing it out here for a long time. Come on, Silva. Hey, Drew. I got number three. And it's got the FG. Come Tried on. to Arby's new spaghetti sandwich. Arby's has a new smoked something or other that Arby's looked delicious. So delicious. We have the spaghetti. Shady McGravy showing his love for the Arby's spaghetti sandwich. Would you eat a spaghetti sandwich? Absolutely. Give me the carbs, all of them. Every carb. We have the carbs. That's what the Arby's needs to say. Try this now. Give me your cup. Trust, trust me. I don't want your cooties. That's why I'm pouring it in here. Okay. Try it now. Tell me if it tastes different. Yes. It's got good legs. Uh, hey, Matthew. Have a good one, buddy. Hope we can meet up and uh, I, meet I'm, up. I'm getting an effervescent. Just uh, just I'm getting Alka-Seltzer. It, Alka-Seltzer and... Just drink it. Never mind. <laughs> it tastes like the same, dude. It tastes exactly the same. Hey, what's up, Mia? <laughs> Mia, yeah. Mia, I want my gold coin back. Mia, <laughs> I want my gold coin back. Yeah, I shipped you his his um he says beloved he... <laughs> slabbed gold MS seventy panda. Nice. Hey, man. Sam Wilson, what's up? I got two key date nickels in my previous box. A thirty nine D, a twelve D in the last box, 39. and a thirty nine S. That's Dude, you're getting good boxes, dude. Remember Spencer from iCarly? Nope. iCarly? I, that's a little after Spaghetti my tacos. Place. So if you go to... Spaghetti tacos. If you go to my good old buddy, I watched an episode with Anthony Bourdain and Roy Choi, I think is his name. I probably butchered that. But Roy Choi's favorite restaurant in LA is The Sizzler. The Sizzler? And one of his specialties is you go to the bar and you make a meatball taco. You put meatballs in the taco, and then you put cheese on top of the meatballs. It's supposed to be amazing. I'd, I'd be down. I can't because I'm too busy eating those breaded chicken wings. I'm trying it. Dude, imagine if we had a spot. With a sizzler? A sizzler, but the wings weren't breaded. Yeah, that'd be great. All you could eat. How did they stay in business doing that? Because everybody you know snuck home some of those wings and the garlic toast. I did. What up, AG Chopsticks? How you doing, buddy? I got my quarter ounce SLQ round in the mail. Oh, you're welcome, nice. Sam. Those things are clean. I actually just found another one right here. Check it out. Check it out. Come on, we need some 90% silver, please. We've been finding some 90%ers. Come on, Lost here. Planet. Let's find some silver. You can have a Lost Planet, but I got to find some silver. Find some Lost Silver. We've been we've been finding ninety percent silver here. Yeah. Not like a ton, but some. Looks proof like yeah, it's a it's beautiful. Picked up a whole tube of these and they're almost gone. Yeah, I wish we could find more. They're extremely hard to oh. Oh I thought maybe I thought maybe we had a Benji. It's not. 
It's dark. You watch White Can't, White Man Can't Jump. We go in Sizzler. We go in Sizzler. Yeah, great movie. Is that what they say? Yeah. I haven't seen that movie. In Wesley that Snipes movie. challenges um, Woody Harrelson to a shootout for like yeah. 50 bucks. One of his friends wants to go to Sizzler. Lost so Planet I, says, I haven't found anything. Related. Times are tough right now, man. It's very tough. Maggie. Spaghetti taco. Spaghetti tacos. I, I, I'm down with. I haven't had spaghetti. Yeah, oh, it's been a long time. No. Olive Garden. No. What? Uh, no. Olive Garden. It's so hard to be on a diet when you hang around with this guy, man. I'm just going to have one. He bread stops st- at fast food restaurants on his way to fast food restaurants. <laughs> one breadstick. That's all I want. And by one, I mean a whole basket. And then I'm uh, no worries. And then another basket. Getting ready to watch a movie. What are you going to watch, Drew? What did I watch? I watched Reign of Fire last night, the one with Matthew McConaughey and yeah. the Dragons. I like that movie. Matthew McConaughey looked was looking pretty yeah. different. Paul swore that. <laughs> What's the other guy's name in that movie? Uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale was was Matthew McConaughey, was... and I'm like, dude, that's not Matthew McConaughey. He's not in the movie yet. <laughs> that's like, I was like, man, Matthew McConaughey does not look the same in this movie. Chicken parm. Oh. And then he was like, that's not Matthew McConaughey, that's Christian Bale. And I was like, duh. I, was, I, I, was, I really thought he was the main character. In well, he's movie. one of the main characters. Yeah, no, I know, but I thought he was the main character. For some reason, in my brain, that's just what I thought. And then it clicked after you said that. I was like, oh gosh, no wonder. Come on! Jeez. Lost Planet comes in here and hooks up the chat. We're over here being cheapskates. Except for you will get three 40 percenters, and they are beautiful, dude. They are actually really nice ones. Really great. Give him three of those really, really good ones. I only bought the really good ones. Oh, well, then there you go. Now, there's a couple that were in there that looked was it? less than perfect. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. There's another flip, another big flip coin. Flip. All right. Speaking about spaghetti, you two really need to try some peanuts mixed with it. Peanuts and spaghetti, bro? Peanuts and spaghetti. A spaghetti jello. Last time we tried, you guys convinced us to try to put peanuts in our Dr. Pepper. Oh, that was disgusting. No, it wasn't bad. It smelled disgusting. It smelled disgusting. Okay, Snacks, who has the best chicken parm at a, in a restaurant? Ooh, CNO Kachina. Yeah, true story. Place in LA. I don't ever order chicken parm at a restaurant. Or what was the other place that we went to? I forget the name of it. With your dad. That that place was legit. But as far as national chains go, I don't know. I I rarely order chicken parm. Yeah, I didn't order it too often. My mom's chicken parm is my favorite. When I lived in New York, there was this little Italian place. I used to be a car salesman. And... uh, Every time we sold a car, they would give us a voucher to go across the street, and we could get whatever we wanted, and I got the chicken parm sandwich. So you sold cars? I did. I sold cars. You can't sell anything. What are you talking about? I could sell you... Sell me this. This right here, this, my friend, is the handy dandy quarter ounce silver tube. Uh, so the tube is silver? So the tube actually contains real silver right there, as you can see. But what if I want to put stuff in there that's not silver? Boom. Can I put, is it, a, is it still hold things that aren't silver? It can definitely, it can hold whatever you need to put in the toaster. Not only, a toaster? not only will it hold it, sir, but it will protect it from the environment, from environmental damage. It'll keep it from getting wet. It will keep it from tarnishing. And how much is that product? And watch this. This is the best part. Smell that. Just smell it. I'm you crossed the line. Now you're a creepy salesman. I'm out. I'm out. Now I'm a creepy salesman. And you, the best, the best price, this side of the Mississippi. I don't know. You only gotta smell things. You're so weird. <laughs> I got another big flip coin, man. Big flip has got, he's got all the. The silver here in Colorado, I think. 
low carb tonight. Italian sausage link with marinara and parmesan on low carb flour tortilla wrap. There you go, Jerry Sloth. Oh, I made. If you get these zero. Oh, it's not anything. It had a dark edge. Oh, why are you at my door trying to sell me a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Right. Did you ever do door to door salesman? No. I did. I'm so glad I didn't. I did. I did it for like two weeks and it was just a scam. My cousin did sold vacuums. I sold coupons. Oh, I remember those books. No, not the Gold Sea books. Okay. They were like specific coupons for Hooters. Oh. Oh, it was terrible. Hey, it's Dennis Jameson! Bigfoot uh, is helping to base our currency. Popcorn, ham, spreads, poach, sausage. Poach, sausage. Gleason News in the chat. What's up, Gleason? What up, Gleason? What's the news? Uh, Naggy, I'm going to sell you a, a taco. Snacks, what will it take for me to get you in this coin tube today? <laughs> What's it going to take to get me in, get you in this coin tube today? I need to fill with oh, silver. A lot of pressure. <laughs> Uh, snacks. Can I post each of this video from a roll? Point. Um, I just need to watch it first. That's just, I know it sounds dumb, but let me let's shoot the link to my email. And as long as it's good, I always got to check, dude. Nothing against you or him. I don't want to put a chat. I don't like putting links in the chat that I don't know what they are. It's good. Jack Lope, it will be done this week, actually. I will have Cash App by the end of this week. He says... It Jack, will be done. Wait, right? wait, 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 wait. I'll give a half ounce of silver in the free giveaway on, on Tuesday if I don't have it done. You realize yep. that Tuesday, silver's, we'll silver's going to go up like to $50. Well, then I better do it, right? Hey, Paul. Sold, says Maggie with a five. Sold! Maggie, thank you. Oh, it's speaking of tacos. I don't know what he's saying, but I want tacos. I don't know, but I'm about to fold this thing in half and take a bite. <laughs> I've been checking the coin stars Ooh. here a lot, and I've just a whole lot of nothing so far. No, that's not true. What? The hey, coin, hey. Well, the coin stars, yes. But the coin, the coin machine at your uh, the bank... bank. At your bank. Hopefully they didn't send a memo out because the last where I called I don't I don't like that bank. That yeah. one that I've there there's she, just, that's that's the one where I would have gave me I she gave me grief. Me. Yeah I know. We're not going back to that Or unless I have a bunch of coins. I you want to be Ruth? I'll bring in nine hundred bags of coins. That's 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 when you call corporate. Nah. Yep, that's when you call corporate and you're like, look, I don't wanna get people in trouble, but your nice Gleason. Your, your teller has treated me very poorly. It's true, Maxwell. You're not lying. And it wasn't just the teller. It was the actual... It was the manager, right? Uh, no, it was it was a teller and then just somebody else who worked there. I don't, I don't, I'd have been like, what is, sir, what is your name? What's your ID? Where's your badge number? <laughs> nah, people are working hard these days. I'm not trying to... What does it take to write down a food order? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You could turn into a Karen. Oh, you should have. No. <laughs> oh, nope. Man. How hard is it to do okay. your job? That's Mia, did you get the Space Needle Stretched Penny? Whoa. Ooh. Space Needle Stretched Penny. That sounds cool. Sounds like one of the uh, Space Needle Pennies that you can go get in Seattle. All right, so last roll. What's your bicentennial battle with Paul? Um, I'm saying Lost Planet. Um, man, this was rough. Yeah, this was a rough box. We it's been hard here for sure. Oh my gosh! Did you see that slab two star one on Silver Live stream last night, Jose? I got no bicentennials. Not one. Well, that's an automatic loss because I got one right there. Um. I did not get to see it, but Jose, I did see you win it. Nice. I wanted to win so bad. I was like, I need slab piece dollar 
Heck yeah. And then Jose comes along. Thanks, Jose. And swoops it up out from under me. All right, guys, let's do five silver delicious pulls. You also get a golden ticket um, of Lost Planet. Do you want golden ticket one or golden ticket two? But congratulations on winning that. That's Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. So what does some good giveaways? Yeah, he does. Like, right. no joke. Number five. All right. Well, that Number was a, one. a poopy box. Number six. I am ready for success. Number nine. Here, I'm going to get... And number 14. Do we have any more of the uh, coin flips? Yes. Anywhere? I haven't I have seen them. Oh, good. Let me have some. Thank you. Here we go. Golden ticket number one. Golden ticket number one. All right, let's pull them and see what we got. One, five, six, nine. One, five, six, nine. Boop. Look at that, it goes. And 14. What? Uh-oh. Woo! What up, Jim Turner? Jim Turner. Make him walk the plane. William Turner. Jim turn this on like a pirate. Game. All right, let's get. Excuse me, number nine. Let's get to it. Uh, first one's gonna be the Canadian Dollar Polar Bear. Nineteen eighty. All right, number five. I like this one. Will we be slabbing number five. Boy, well, it's bright. Too. Go. Oh, thank you. Number five is going to be a slabbed uh, Benji MS63 1960. Slab Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. Three three words. Franklin syllables, not words. <laughs> All right. Number 14 is going to be a sealed 1963 proof set. And no, I didn't save any of the ice from the other day. How big were those ice cubes? They were quarter size. They were, they were legit hail, for At sure. At least quarter size, and some of them closer to half dollar size. 1963 sealed proof set. All right, proof set. Look for that oh, ultra cameo. Number ooh, six. It's going to be a 1963 last year MS64 slab Benji. Another Benji slab, dude. Low battery later. Jim Turner, thanks for being here. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for hanging out. Another Benji slab. All right. Oh, this has the ID number on it. Don't leave the ID number on there. How much did you pay for it? Let me see. It's not a price tag. Oh, okay. Just a random, mm. random number. What number was it? It was like eight numbers. Let me long. let me guess. Oh, eight numbers long? Yeah. I think it was just a catalog sticker. Okay, number one. This one has it too, actually. And that's PCGS graded. This one is 2002412. Jeez. Uh, this is going to be an MS64. And that one's NGC. NGC MS62. 64, I'm sorry. Dude, you got like three nice Benji slabs. And three, one from each three. grading company. That you did. What? That's awesome. That's kind of weird. And golden ticket number Uno. You did get a Benji slab from all three different grading companies. All right, this is going to be a Maria Fowler restrike. The original was from 1780, and this one dude, dude. Um, is a, a beautiful hunk of silver. Real good pulls. Real good pulls. What what were those really going for at the at the shop? Like over thirty? Oh yeah, I think they're over thirty bucks now for the Fowlers. All I right. I want to say like thirty five bucks for these things now. And you get a wheel spin as well, and a guess at the mystery box. So pick a number one through 50 for Lost Planet, and um, we'll do a box pull, and I got your wheel spin right here. And the guys will do the end of stream a giveaway coming up very shortly. All right, here we go on the wheel spin. All right, do the wheel spin. One, two, three. And think of a number between one and 50 for us. I'll let you know if it's already been picked. You got about a 50 50 shot right no! Oh! Holy cow. That was close. That was super close. 13, he says. If you had to watch pimple popping videos no. or chiropractic adjustment videos, chiropractic. which one would you All choose? Day. Chiropractic. Nagy, I have this horrible okay. story. Okay, you always have a horrible story <clears throat> about a chiropractic adjustment that I had. Oh. All right. 
So a dime and a dime. This goes to him as well. And then this goes into the free uh, giveaway along with the 90% since he bought a box. Ooh, I got an old walker that's like wiped out. Let me see if there's a date on it. 1920. I don't know. Can you guys even see a date on this? 19... That's a 1915. That's a 1915. Is it? Yeah, can you tell by the date? <laughs> now he says, tell the story. That's a 1915. All right, we'll do the Benji instead. <laughs> it's the rare 1915 walker. Oh, wait, what number did he say? Was it a good number? I don't know. He didn't uh, pick yeah. a number. Yet. Yeah, he did. Did he? I didn't see it. Let's see. Lost Planet says number one. No, no, no. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen has already been picked. All right, thirteen's been picked. You could show that under the scope if you like, or however you want to do it. There's all the numbers that have not been picked. Seven. Seven's good. Seven is a good number. Look at the box over there. All right. And we have something in here that we have never had in there before. 007, James Bond style. 007. For a nice village. One, two, three. All right. Nah, uh, that thing's got to be getting close. We're getting so close to it. All right, let's do the free giveaway. 90% and a dime from Lost a Planet. Here we go. Oh, we are literally halfway through the numbers. I bet. So you, right now you have a 50% shot at, at getting this tumbler open. All right. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, 46 comments. All right. 20 seconds to speak up. Let's go. Pull harder, says Plugin for Dates. Just pull harder. Uh, and this was all for... It's all for Lost Planet. Lost Planet. All right, here it is. I don't know why it flipped like that. I'll get it all figured out. Uh, but you get the gist of it. Here we go. One, two, three. First winner. Todd Traveler, no way. Didn't he win the first one? He did. What are he? the odds of that Time Traveler? I think he did. If he's still here, that's two for two. That's insane. That is insane. I think you're right. I think he did. I'm like 99% he did. Ooh, what if he left, though? Then we go on to round He was two. all like, yeah, I won already. I'm out. Tommy, what's up? Sam Wilson, refresh. Yeah, right, Dan? Looks like the odds are 100%. Right? Shenanigans. I saw Silver Life do it before. The back-to-back -back winners? Yeah, I think I've so, never too. won back-to-back -back yet. Time Traveler is in here. He wins back to back. If not, we go into round two. He went back in time. Mm, traveled there. He traveled back in time and uh, changed something to where he would win. Kind of like the Marvel Universe. If he's not here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. If he's not here. And it, he might not be, guys. He gets 20 seconds. How many seconds have we been? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. All right. All right. Round two. We got to keep it fair. Here we go. That was more than 20 seconds. One, two, and three. Maxwell. Maxwell, Maxwell was here too. Hammer. All right. Let's see if Maxwell's here. Maxwell was here. I'm here. So I should, you know, if you pull my name. Um, not seeing Maxwell yet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, eight, 5, 7, 4, 9. There he is. There he is. Send it to two foxes, Maxwell. Ah, send it to you. All right. right. So for Tupac right there from right. Maxwell. You love to see it. Oh, I just, we just sent out Tupac's pay, uh, package today. Now, he has one now he's got another one. Talk. All right. All right, here we go. 
<laughs> he goes like, next. <laughs> well, he says, it's only fair that you tell me your story. Hold on, I have one roll to do, actually, for Nagy. For what? Oh, well, he, he gave you tacos. He, he bought me tacos. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, Nagy. You remember, do you remember your chiropractor yes. that you made me go to? In Culver City? In Culver City. Yes. His chiropractor, he was like, tell me how amazing this guy was. He's he's perfect. He's awesome. Um, so I was like, okay, I had, a, I had a really bad back. I mean, really, really bad. Doctor say I need a bacchiotomy. A bacchiotomy. Exactly. I could not walk. It was horrible. I went in there and he was, you know, he did his, he sprinkled his little magic dust and waved his magic wand and, and he had this little, this little gun thing. And he's like, pat, pat, pat. And he like, it, it like, it's supposed to send like this magical shockwave through your arms and this and that. Anyway, long story short, he, this gets, is short though. he puts it on, he puts me on this table, puts a heating pad on, leaves me in there for 30 minutes, comes back in. He keeps lifting up the table and like shoving it down. And then he grabs my neck and my head. And he says, I want you to relax. It's a big head, too. And it's a big head. He says, I want you to relax your neck, and I want you to relax your shoulders, and you relax your arms. And what we're going to do is snap! And my head goes flying. And I thought he broke my neck. It popped so loud. I freaked out. I grabbed him. He freaked out because I was grabbing him. Because I thought he broke my neck. And he thought, I, I think he must have thought I he broke my neck. And he's like, uh, we might not want to try that again. <laughs> so he said something like he was never going to do that again to me. But my neck popped so loud. It was crazy. And, and the next day, I still hurt. <laughs> I'm taking one thing from that whole story. Do you know what it is? What is this? You don't know the meaning of, of short? long story short. short. You can't say long story short and then talk for 11 minutes. But he was, he was like. What was okay. the long version of that? Okay, here's the long version. No, 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 no. He was no, all like no, three, no. two, pa! He was like, he was like a ninja sneaking out of the shadows. Okay, speaking of ninjas, a, a, a Fender Road started off for us. Ken Rose, Nagy, Ozzy, <laughs> Michael, Ellis, Tucson, and... Nagy and Lost Planet hooking up the crew. You love to see it. Uh, we got Pepe Le Pew today. We did. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it was like a finishing move, right? Yeah. Finish him. Um, but I think we're going to get out of here. Big shout out. Hey, Lost Planet. Thanks for coming in here and making the stream fun and doing another giveaway. I appreciate that. Uh, Mod Squad, thank you for all you do. Tomorrow, if we have boxes of halves, we'll stream. We might do a box of nickels or something. Or we might not have a stream at all, and I might go to a Rockies game. I've had a hectic couple months, and that's one thing that really relaxes me. I don't even know. Is it hard to get tickets? Because I could, I could use some Cracker Jacks. I don't even know. I'm not taking you to the ball game. I'm not getting you Cracker Jacks. I want some nachos, Cracker Jacks, peanuts. Uh, but so keep an eye out for a stream reminder. If not, we'll be back. We should yes. have boxes on Thursday, so we should be good to go from there on out. Um, but keep an eye out for a stream reminder. Check out each other's channels. Show some love. Um, and uh, until next time, guys, stay warm, stay guys. safe, stay positive. And as always, happy hunting, guys. We will see you maybe tomorrow. And if not, we'll see you Thursday.